SUNY Vegas Pro 8. Now, this is a very in-depth video editor. It's very nice. It's like 500 bucks, but it's well worth it. So you start off, you have all of your tabs and stuff here. You can have your Explorer, and you can explore all of your files so you can find media to put into your video. Project media, which is stuff that you have inside of the video. Transitions, which goes between each video clip. Effects to put on top of your video. Generators. Generators are kind of weird because it's basically just the background, and this is also text. Over here you have your displayer, and down here you have your timeline, and you also have your tracks. Tracks are what have your different video and audio clips on. So you can make different resolution, like for YouTube HD, they suggest 1280 or something like that by 720 or something like that. So we'll do that, and you'll see that it's going to be on my screen. And then let's say that we want to add some text in the beginning of our video. You just do that, and then it'll come up with your edit text. So let's just say hello, and then you can click on a placement there, and then you can drag it around. You can also change some property for like colors, and you can also change the effect. Let's add that. Now, let's say we want to add our intro. Let's go into where did I put that? It was in here. Yes, it was in here. And you just click and drag file intro, and then just put it right there. And then you can just play, and it will render. So it's saying hello there, and it will say our intro, like that. You can also put audio in, so let's put Army Angel in, and then you play, and it's going to be playing. So. Um, it's a pretty good editor. One thing that I don't really like is that you can't have audio and video on the same track, which is very, very annoying. Um, transitions are also made very, very easy with this program. All you need to do is drag the video clips on top of each other, and you'll see these little waves, and that's where it overlaps. And then it will fade where they overlap with the play, and it will fade in. Now, if you don't like the fade in transition, you can choose from many, 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 many different transitions. So let's use this one, and then you just drag it on top of there. And you can also change stuff in there. And then let's go back and hit play and watch. So I would give this a solid 9 out of 10. It's very good, but it has its bad things like not being able to do that. And it doesn't have many different ways to add text. There's, there's not that much text. So that's my review. Thanks for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe, favorite, do whatever you want to do. And see you next time.